Hey, it's Maurice Sapre. I want to take a few moments just to run the idea past you guys that it's okay to have a vision that shifts. Many times I talk to people and they're going through stages. You know, when you look at therapy or coaching or any sort of practice, most of the time people come to us uh, for support because they're going through shifts. They're going from elementary to middle school, middle school to high school, high school to college, college to professional working or professional sports or from being a professional uh, athlete to retirement or from retirement to a second career or whatever it is. And it's normal to have uh, questions about your faith, uh, questions about your belief systems as far as your abilities or what you can do, your strategies, but don't give up, okay? And all of us get rattled. All of us have that Goliath in our life that we have to surpass. Just yesterday, I was talking to a girl from um, one of the uh, World Cup teams for um, um, soccer, for women's soccer from Canada. And we were talking about how, you know, you go through these stages where you feel like you're about to retire, but maybe you still want to keep playing or whatever it is. And it doesn't matter what level you're in, in whatever space, we all go through the same thing. So the important thing to remember is that you got to have a, a, a purpose, sense of purpose, and hopefully that sense of purpose, you can put it in pictures. And that's what we call a vision, right? So when you put your purpose in pictures, you can visualize it. When you visualize it, you'll be able to do it and you're not shooting off the hip, um, hoping that something turns out. When people start to hope that things turn out, that's when they start looking at their circumstances. When they start looking at their circumstances, that's when they start getting depressed. When they start getting depressed, they've already been anxious. Now they're getting depressed and things are starting to fall apart. And it usually results where they have a challenge at work and then it shows up at home. It shows up at home or it shows up at work or whatever. And so, you know, whatever your vision is, take your sense of purpose, take your sense of gift, whatever those gifts are, and look at how do you wanna share them with others in the world, right? It doesn't matter whether it's counseling, psychology, whatever, business, the things that you do that make you you, whether it's being a good mom or a good dad, the, the qualities that you have, how can you spread them out to share it with family or with other people? Um, if we think about Michael Jordan, Steve Jobs, Oprah, anybody, we know them from the fruit that they've, that they've had in their space. Your space doesn't have to be uh, a product per se, but that's a great way to make income out of it, right? But people ought to know you by that, the quality of that product or that thing that you have, right? And in turn, um, if you change how you present that product to the world, so be it, right? So that's why you can share your love with people driving Uber or you can share your love with people through therapy or whatever it is you do, right? But in the end, you gotta give it, right? So put your purpose in pictures. That's the development of the vision. Figure out how to take your skills, integrate them into some sort of atmosphere, right? And then change the landscape for the world to be a better place. I look forward to speaking with you. Anytime I can be of help, all the best.